Okay, you guys. So, this video is titled, Facts About Haters. And the reason I'm making this video is, number one, because nowadays, we live in a world where people are so insecure about themselves and the truth hurts so much that when in actuality you either make a comment, let's say you make a Facebook status or you make a video on YouTube, whether it's directed to them or not, people have this thing where they always think the whole world revolves around them and everything is directed to, towards them. So, I decided to make this video and I love the feedback that I've gotten in regards to my video um, titled, Get Off YouTube and Tend to Your Kids. It's amazing when you make a video out there and you don't mention any names, but people automatically know who you're talking about. I mean, that's just hilarious because guess what? Some people's actions and videos and Facebook statuses and just the way that they come across to others, those actions speak for themselves. So, you know, if you have nothing to fear, you honestly don't need to defend yourself, you know? So... Let's say somebody makes a video about me, whether they mention my name or not. If I know it's about me or not, do you actually think that I am going to waste my time responding back to them? No, because number one, that's what they want. They want fame. They actually want more followers. And you know, honestly, I am not going to send subscribers, followers, friends on Facebook or whatever to people who are completely insane. And I'm trying to spare others from following lunatics like that. So what I decided to do is I was thinking a lot about it and you know my my channel you guys know it's a variety of stuff you know I'm not always talking about haters but when you go to someone's channel who every other video revolves around around drama or talking about haters or trolls you could tell that that person's life is miserable and their whole entire channel revolves around drama. Their whole entire Facebook revolves around drama. So, you know, like I said, it speaks for itself. Do I need defending myself? I really don't. Because you guys who are have been followers of mine for years, who are friends with me on Facebook, and who have been subscribed to my channel for years... You could go back to all my videos and yes once in a while i might direct myself to a hater or to a troll or to somebody who tried to mess with me and i'm i don't take shit from no one because i've said it many times and if i need to expose someone and embarrass their ass i will i will because guess what i get a kick out of exposing people who are fake who are haters who are trolls you know but guess what you are not going to get that much attention from me anymore because you don't deserve it. So, you know, plain and simple. I am not, people are like craving, dying for followers. There is actually another lady who I know who kisses ass just so that she could get followers. She never fooled me. She never fooled me. But hey, as long as she was nice to me, I was nice to her. But guess what? I had to block the lunatic too because everything about her life revolves around drama she starts it and then when people drag her name into it she wants nothing to do with it because she's afraid of losing facebook friends and youtube followers and me i could get three shits <laughs> because guess what i'm not on youtube to be famous i'm on youtube to share my real life to reach out to people who are actually there uh if it's the TTC community to reach out to people who are struggling with infertility people who are hurting stuff like that and if it's, let's say, movie reviews to share my passion of horror movies with other fans out there, if it has to do with makeup and products, to share that with them as well. And if I do a singing video, it's because I love to sing. So you see, my channel, as many of you know, is a variety of, 
of things. But every other video, you're not going to find me talking about haters or starting drama with other people or saying, oh, you know, I'm going to go expose this person's YouTube channel because they talked about me. Gee, God forbid that other people have an opinion about you. Yeah, that's like, wow, that's a sin right there. So anyway, you guys, here's what I wanted to share with you guys, okay? Because I thought it, it might be fun. And I thought it put a lot of mind at ease, people who deal with haters and, you know, this is the best way to shrug them off, really. So, I was looking through um, Pinterest, because I love Pinterest. And um, there's these little um, things that go around. I don't know how to explain it. It's like little posters with sayings on them. You know, people are always sharing that stuff on, on, um, on Facebook. See, I'm going to show you what it looks like, just so that you have an idea. I don't know if you could see it, but it's one of those little inspirational things that, you know, that have quotes in them and you share them wherever you want on Instagram, Facebook or whatever. So I was reading a few of these and wow, this is like so true. You guys look, I'm going to read one. This one says, I am thankful for all those difficult people in my life. They have shown me exactly who I don't want to be. Now, let me tell you something. This is this hit it right on the nail, you guys. I mean, let me tell you something. There are some of these crazy people on YouTube and Facebook that are so delusional that they actually believe that you are hating on them because you are jealous of them or because you are envious or... I don't even know, you guys. I mean, it doesn't make sense because let me tell you something. People usually envy someone who has a good life. But if it's obvious that you're living a miserable life, why would anyone envy that? Why would anyone want to be you? Seriously, you're just delusional and get off your high horse. Um, let me see. Another one. Should you ever find yourself the victim of other people's bitterness, jealousy, lies, and insecurities, don't be mad. Remember, things could be worse. You could be them. Now, that's, that's even more sadder, you guys. So, it's funny because these people, these types of haters, they, how would I say, they accuse you of things that are not true, obviously, but they accuse you of things that they are the ones that actually feel it because it's reflecting their character, their personality, so the things that they are spewing forth about others is actually what they themselves are feeling. So, yeah, it's sad, you guys. And every day, every day that I come across people like that, you know, all I can do is feel sorry for them, really. Like, really, really, really feel sorry for them and thank the Lord up in heaven that I am not like them. I may not be perfect, but geez, after seeing some of the lunatics that I've had to deal with, on Facebook and on YouTube, I thank God. And I thought I was crazy, but I thank God that I'm not that bad. <laughs> Here's another one. I am in competition with no one. I have no desire to play the game of being better than anyone. I am simply trying to be better than the person I was yesterday. And this is something that is so true, you guys. I mean, I don't understand people out there. Why feel the need to compete out there with anyone? I mean, come on, if you are happy with who you are, you don't, you, you don't, you don't feel the need to compete with anyone or try to be better than anyone because you're happy with who you are. You're happy with the gifts and talents that God has given you. So therefore you, you don't feel that need. You don't feel that need to compete with anyone. So Here's one more, and I'm going to stop there. Small minds can't comprehend big spirits. To be great, you have to be willing to be mocked, hated, and misunderstood. Stay strong. So, there you have it, guys. I mean, people are going to talk. People are going to try to bring you down. People are even going to try to bully you, attack your personality, 
And when that doesn't work because they want to bring you down with them, because obviously if somebody is trying to bring you down, that is because they, you, that is because you are above them and they are below you. So they are trying to bring you down to their level. So you know what? Don't give people that satisfaction. Don't give haters that satisfaction. Don't give bullies that satisfaction. Um, there is a certain individual out there who gets a kick out of putting other people's, other people down. So when that doesn't work, when they see that that didn't work, what do they do? They try to attack your children. They try, if they can't attack your character, they're going to try to go for what hurts you the most. But you know what? The only thing you could do is actually feel sorry for people like that. And the only thing that you really you could do, don't waste your time fighting them back because they're just delusional. The only thing you can actually do for people like that is pray for them because honestly, they don't deserve any more than that. Any more than that. They don't deserve your attention. They don't deserve you to give them more publicity because... Um, it's sad that all the people that follow these type of people are not well in the head as well. Because if they were, they would not follow such a person. Now, in regards to the whole popularity contest that apparently uh, some people um, have been, has some people are involved in. This is like, you know, going on on YouTube for a while, you know. But I've noticed, you guys, I mean, I actually had to block a lady from Facebook and unsubscribe to her videos because this lady's life also revolves around drama. Um, she posts the most bizarre videos out there that it's like, wow, every time that you go to her channel, every other video, she's talking either about trolls or haters. Her videos are boring because somebody actually came up to me and told me, I don't even know what the big fuzz is. Like she, who she thinks she's so glorious or whatever, because her videos are boring. I don't understand. And it's like a popularity contest. All she cares about is subscribers and views. All she cares about is views. She's always saying how she don't care. If people dislike her videos because that actually gives her views. Actually, I agree with that because there's been many times that I've mentioned that before and I've said like, you know what, haters and trolls don't bother me because they could thumbs down my video all they want, but in actuality, they're helping me because even if they go to my channel and don't want to see the video because they're just there to thumbs down even without seeing the video and pausing it, there is no way to go to someone's video without actually giving them a view. So you know what, haters do make you famous on YouTube because the more they go into your videos, even if it's just to dislike it, yeah, they're giving you views. But come on, you guys, like the people who are constantly talking about haters and trolls and, oh, keep, keep disliking my videos because you're just making me famous and this and that. Come on, get real. What does that show you guys? Their channel is not really focused on, you know, just happiness and sharing their their life out there their kids their you know their children their their life their let's say cooking videos makeup hauls whatever you want to do with your channel you know make it fun but come on now every other video and then these bizarre videos that some of these people post just to entertain haters like you guys really like that is just so pathetic that is so sad that is just a, such a big cry for help out there such a uh, attention seeking whore like they call it you know those are attention seeking whores so all they care about is getting popularity and getting subscribers and people to actually watch them they act very thoughtful and like they care for other people like oh my god always leaving them like these comments and and kissing their butt just to be nice to them and stuff like that but in actuality they're just fishing for people so that they could get followers and subscribers and and people who agree with them and if you don't agree with them god forbid that comment gets deleted or that person goes away with a big f u from the uh from the youtube person because 
people didn't agree with you. Oh, because someone called you out on your bullshit, you know, and you can't handle it. You know what, you guys? I am glad that I have opened my eyes to not only the Facebook TTC community world, the uh, trolls on YouTube and people like that. Whew, I'm, unsubscribe. Then go to Facebook, block, problem solved. Am I going to mention any names? No, because they don't deserve that publicity. They don't deserve that attention, period. But the whole point of this video, you guys, is plain and simple. Don't let haters and trolls get you down, okay? When people talk about you, when people try to put you down, when people get defensive, obviously there is something to get defensive about. Obviously, when you feel the need to explain yourself, when you feel the need to defend yourself, is because obviously something is up. Obviously, when one person is attacking you, okay, maybe that person is just a hater and a troll. I agree because I've had I've had my my share of haters and trolls that I've had to deal with. But when you have to like freaking uh explain yourself to a whole bunch of people because all this group of like women let's say are against you and are attacking you for a reason trust me guys there is always a reason and when everybody agrees about a certain uh thing about a certain subject on a certain person usually they are right because they have had experiences themselves with that person so hey it speaks for themselves their channel their Facebook speaks for itself. So therefore, I have no need to defend myself against no one because my life, my happiness, my joy speaks for itself and nobody could take that from me, you guys. Nobody, nobody in this world can take the joy that my God, my Lord has given me. All the blessings that I have, I enjoy them to the fullest because I'm thankful each and every single day for the blessings that the Lord has given me and my family. I don't forget where, from where I came from. I don't forget all the suffering that I have gone through to have my children. But guess what? Nobody's going to bring me down, you guys. At the end of the day, these people amuse me. I laugh at them. I feel sorry for them. So with that said, I this video pretty much is self-explanatory. Facts about haters. I hope you found that interesting. And remember, next time somebody tries to bring you down, you guys, remember, it's not you who's the problem. It's the other person who's miserable inside, bitter inside, and they want to bring you down to their level with them. Don't bow down to anyone except God. God bless you guys.